Hello, everyone. Um, today, I wanted to talk about <coughs> um, if you are getting involved in getting a wheelchair for the first time, second time. Uh, to me, it's really important for the person or the person who's going to receive the wheelchair <coughs> to also be involved, uh, to know, you know, kind of the basics and to be able to request uh, you know, tryouts, <coughs> test a wheelchair here or there. <laughs> um, so, so what kind of wheelchairs are out there? Uh, you know, there are obviously the manual wheelchairs, which we are most familiar with. Uh, those were the first wheelchairs that I used was a manual, sports manual wheelchair. Then there's the medical heavy-duty uh, wheelchairs. And um, so it's those are the classes of wheelchairs that we usually see in the market or people using. Um, so the sports manual wheelchair are much lighter and easier to uh, bring around or put it in a car. Uh, you take off the wheels and, and you throw it in the car and you're, you're ready to go. But if you're not able to do a manual wheelchair for whatever reason, because of uh, dexterity or <coughs> because you need a little bit more support, then they'll go to power wheelchairs. Now there's two big classes of power wheelchairs. And that is the regular power wheelchair uh, like I use. And uh, the other one is complex power wheelchairs. The complex power wheelchairs have all kinds of gadgets on them. Like, you know, you can adjust the headrest, you can adjust the seat, you can lay back, you can put up your feet. So the complex power wheelchair is exactly that, complex. <laughs> and it can do a, a variety of things for you. Now you have to have the proper diagnosis for that. And if you know you have it already, then you're on a roll. Now, um, for the regular power wheelchairs, uh, they have, you know, you can lift up the arms and move them out of the way so you can transfer um, the regular power wheelchairs, uh, have a foot rest. You can request, depending on the model, you can request just the, the flat uh, foot rest. <coughs> it's kind of like a triangle type or you can request the, the um, foot rest that you, know, you can spread apart um, and then it's easier for you to get in and out of the, the power wheelchair. I'm at the point where <coughs> I need, I need the, the ones that swing aways, that's what they're called, the swing aways uh, foot rest. It's difficult for me to handle just the, the platform type foot rest. So probably when we change this one out, then I'll request the swing aways. Um, so, you know, the manual wheelchairs are, um, you know, just the medical and the, the uh, sports lightweight manual wheelchairs. And then you have in the power wheelchairs, you have the complex power wheelchairs, and then you have the simple uh, basic power wheelchairs. And just depends on your diagnosis and your needs. Uh, you know, mine is, is the difficulty walking or pain or both <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> so, so right now I just need the, uh, simple, uh, power wheelchairs and that, that does good for me. I just need the swing away type, um, foot rest, uh, as my condition continues, you know, to progress each year. So, you know. Um, I think it's important for the person who's receiving the, the wheelchair to actually know, you know, the basics. So that's why I talk about this uh, from time to time. So you know, okay, what kind of wheelchair are we talking about? Um, what kind of brands are out there? Um, you know, and I asked, I asked the, uh, my therapist, I said, what kind of wheelchairs do you do you trust? 
what kind of wheelchair brands do you use the most? And she said, well, and I'm talking about the United States. In other countries, it'll be different. Um, and then, you know, I'll make a video separate for those wheelchairs because every country has a different type of wheelchair because, you know, weather, uh, it, terrain, um, and parts and repairs. So they have to make power wheelchairs and manual wheelchairs that fit their region. So here in the United States, we have uh, categories and, and brands of wheelchairs, but Arabia or China or Germany will have their type of wheelchairs. Sometimes I covet, you know, wheelchairs from other places like Italy or Germany. Those wheelchairs look very cool, uh, but they would be a whole lot more expensive. <laughs> so I just stick with the, <laughs> with the power wheelchairs that are made here in the United States. <laughs> But for power wheelchairs, I think throughout the U.S., uh, one of the, for the simple power wheelchairs uh, is Jazzy. They have a whole series of uh, Jazzy uh, power wheelchairs, and, and they're, they're pretty good. Um, this one has never broken down on me. I have the Jazzy Select 6, which I made a video already uh, about, so I will post that one. Uh, Jassy um, is made by uh, Pride Mobility, and Pride Mobility also has uh, complex power wheelchairs made by, and uh, it starts with a no, but uh, I'll bring it up as I'm talking, and uh, Quantum, that's it, Quantum. <laughs> quantum power wheelchairs, that belongs also to Pride Mobility. And Quantums are really good. Um, and that's their complex power wheelchair department. So uh, those wheelchairs are, are good, sturdy, uh, and, you know, are durable. So, uh, so that's all of Pride Mobility. It's Quantum and Jazzy. Uh, and their wheelchairs are, are good, you know. And it's one that the therapists and doctors trust. Uh, because, you know, patients rarely, rarely complain about it. So, um, so you know, mine has never given me any problems. I have issues with the battery right now because it's three years old and it's time to change them. Uh, if you have insurance and you're going through insurance, you can change out your power or manual uh, wheelchair every five years, usually, depending on your insurance. So it's usually five to seven years. Mine is five years. So um, with mine, they will change out your batteries. They'll give you new batteries after about two years, two and a half years. And so that's what I'm doing right now. Mine are three years old, and they're sputtering. So I thought it was time. It takes a little bit to get these batteries. So uh, through insurance, so it's best that you order or request them with time, not to wait at the last minute when your batteries are dead. <laughs> so, so request them with time. You know, after two, two and a half years, you know, start start the process of requesting the batteries. Uh, what can I say about Quantum? I've seen their wheelchairs. Uh, they're really cool. They're really good. Uh, they're sturdy. I haven't heard any complaints about Quantum um, either. I've never sat in one of their complex power wheelchairs, but they seem sturdy, good. They have all the parts and movable parts that you would need as a complex power wheelchair. And the designs are, are good. They're nice. You know, they're attractive. Jazzy series, there's all kinds of jazzies. Um, not only the Select 6. Uh, I almost feel like the Select 6 is kind of going out the door. <laughs> and they have some new jazzies that are coming in. So you'd really have to ask. Uh, some of the things for power wheelchairs that I pay attention to are battery life. I pay attention to how many, how many miles can this power wheelchair do. And what is the speed on this power wheelchair? And can the, can the speed 
miles per hour can those can that speed be increased um you know i am out there a bit and i do cross streets that are pretty wide and um i've gotten from one corner to the the other by the skin of my teeth <laughs> so so i am going to request in, in when we change out this wheelchair you know instead of four miles per hour for it to be six so fingers crossed we'll be able to do that um because that way i'll feel a little bit safer uh crossing the streets <laughs> and not have some car starting up because it's almost green and take me with them so <laughs> that's the reason why i'm thinking of six miles per hour and not just four so so you know if if the wheelchair does about 14 miles that's pretty good for me um there are jazzies that to do longer i think it's the it's the jazzy 600 es that does a longer distance so if you need a longer distance then the jazzy 600 es probably would do you good uh but you have to talk to your therapist about all your needs because they're gonna they're gonna listen in terms of how you're gonna use this power wheelchair you know, are you going to go to the store, or are you going to go down a couple of blocks, or are you going to go hiking? You know, what is the strength of that, this wheelchair that you would need as a regular power wheelchair? If you're going to do a complex power wheelchair, those wheelchairs already have a pretty good speed, miles per hour. I think it's six, six miles per hour and above. And... Um, they also do uh, a longer distance. Now, with power wheelchairs, you have to understand that it's a little harder to transport them. If you already have a, um, an assistive van or an accessible van, then forget what I'm saying. <laughs> but you might think of having <coughs> in your family an accessible van uh, so you can transport this power wheelchair in, in a much easier way. Uh, there are some counties that already have programs which you can sign up for and um, be able to, uh, you know, go from point A to B wherever you need to go in these uh, county services. And I, I use that one a lot uh, for our county. You know, I have to go to church on Sunday, so... Um, I scheduled a van to take me on Sunday, and it, it works out just fine. Um, let's see. It also, you know, I really said to the, uh, to the company that was selling me the wheelchair that I sometimes would like to go to the park <coughs> or go hiking. You know, so I wanted a pretty good distance, you know, for this chair to be able to do a decent distance. So this one can do, the Jazzy can do 12 to 14. So that's about what I need now. So, so this all boils down to what are your needs? What are your daily activities? Um, you have to think about the manual wheelchairs as well you know if you are able to steer yourself and you're able to push yourself and you can go down the street and come back um, that's great if you have um, fibromyalgia like I do forget it <laughs> it's not gonna work <laughs> but you know just all depends on your strength and your ability to push yourself um, and your therapist might say, mm, no, I think you probably will do better with a power wheelchair, uh, you know, so you don't hurt yourself, that kind of thing. So, you know, you have to help the therapist, you know, with some ideas on helping you pick the best wheelchair for your needs. Um, you know, here at my assisted living they did purchase a, a van. So, you know, sometimes for activities and things, they'll bring me back and forth in the van. 
and and that is a big help. So, because uh, then I don't have to completely rely on um, on you know the the county to pick me up and bring me back. So, because there are wait times, um, they're not bad. So, um, so I don't have to worry about that. But to me, it's important that you participate along with the therapist and. <coughs> before you talk about, you know, the type of wheelchair that you write down your needs and what do you think you will need the most in terms of, you know, distance, uh, speed, uh, comfortability, uh, where do you have pain, um, you know, what's going to hurt when you sit down in this chair for hours on end. <laughs> And for that, I really uh, recommend breaks. You know, I jump into my uh, recliner and I rest for a bit and then I get back in. <coughs> so, so it's that kind of thing. Um, now, either one of these <coughs> wheelchairs need a little bit of care, TLC. Change my camera here. <laughs> They both need a little TLC. So um, one of the things that I use is, is a brush and a pan if I don't have the strength and the energy to clean it and detail it is the other video that I made that I'll post. But I've been using this lately so that, you know, I can sit in my recliner and just brush off my power wheelchair and, and keep it de de decent. <laughs> So decent. So um, this has helped a lot um, because then I don't have to do the bucket and the soap and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> and that video I'll also post it here so that you have another idea on if your power wheelchair really needs that cleaning, then you can do it that way or you can just have somebody just brush it off for you or you can sit in your in another chair recliner and then, you know, brush off your power wheelchair. Because it's needed, you know, it's going to get dusty, it's going to get dirty, dingy. <laughs> so um, that's another way that I, I do it now. So, um, you know, in your manual wheelchair, will also need like a brush off, you know, and sometimes the wheels get a little dirty or caught into plants or whatever, and you have to brush it off. Um, so, <coughs> you know, it's like anything. Like any material that you have needs brushing or it needs vacuuming or whatever. So, <coughs> so you know, when you, when you get something like that and it costs that much, <laughs> it's good to take care of it. Good to take care of it. Um, you want it to last as long as possible. So to keep the dust off of it and the dirt and the grime, <laughs> once I slipped off the sidewalk and I ended up in, in grass and unbeknownst to me, it had rained for days and days and days and days. So um, the grass turned into mud. <laughs> so I tried to back up and get back on the sidewalk and keep on going. But every time I used my joystick, the wheels would just spin. And so I started to sink. <laughs> I was like, oh, great. <laughs> so there was a guy who was doing maintenance on, on the church grounds. And, you know, I, I flagged him and he came over and I said, I'm stuck in the mud. So he actually just, I don't know how he did it, but he, he grabbed a hold of my power wheelchair and just lifted it up and put it back on the sidewalk. It's like, holy cow. <laughs> so, <laughs> but my wheels were full of mud. I mean, full. And so <coughs> I tried to clean them off as, as much as I could before I got on the bus and before I went in the store. <laughs> uh, it was a mess. But when I got back here, one of the members offered to clean them for me. So I took the power wheelchair out outside and she... Uh, cleaned off the, <laughs> the wheels. <laughs> they were pristine after she cleaned them, but she said, don't do that again. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. 
but uh, I only slipped off the sidewalk one more time. <laughs> that was enough for me to know not to do it again. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> but sometimes that's going to happen. You're going out, you're going to have fun, and and you're going to slip. You're going to get the wheels are going to get dirty, and uh, somebody might have to. In a manual wheelchair, it's a little bit easier to clean them off. Uh, power wheelchair, it's a little bit more difficult because our wheels are bigger and wider and uh, they have treads and so you know it's a little hard to <laughs> get them clean <laughs> so it's like anything it, it just requires a little maintenance so that is the difference folks for regular power wheelchairs complex power wheelchairs and manual wheelchairs there are all kinds of videos and i have them here on my on my channel uh, you'll have to kind of flip through uh, the, the, the channel to, <laughs> to find them. But I'll, I'll uh, connect here the, um, the videos that I have for cleaning and maintenance of power wheelchairs. And, uh, and you know, I think that'll be helpful and give you more confidence that it's not a big deal. So be active. You know, go on the Internet. Um, ask your your therapist a lot of questions so that you can you know get what you need that'll fit your needs and that's that's the key of all this to get a manual or to get a power wheelchair that'll fit your needs and that you will be able to to handle it and take care of it and and that it'll serve you and help you get around and and be well you know, reduce the pain and be able to be more independent. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, I want to remind everybody to vote. The link is down below in the description box. You know, here in the United States, we will be voting on November 5th, but you can vote before then. So uh, make sure you have signed up to vote. And so when you go to the desk, you don't have to do all that there. So Take a look at the link, and if you want to help the channel, feel free to like or to subscribe or to make any comments or questions that you might have about this current video, and we'll be happy to answer. All right, take care and be safe, and I'll see you in the next video.